I just concluded an assignment with United Way in Portland, um, and I was job searching actually when I got the call. I'm Patrick Bartels. I'm a student here at Johns Hopkins School of Nursing in the 13-month Summer Start cohort. Over that summer, I flew back to Chicago a couple of times to visit my dad. Um, and I'd stay with him for about a week at a time. And I was there 24-7. I was staying with him nights um, in the hospital just to give my mother a break. Um, and a couple things became clear. One, I, I started getting a lot of really positive feedback from um, my family, from family friends, even from the staff there, um, just as to the care that I was providing my dad. Uh, and the second was how much I enjoyed it, which I know sounds a little strange, seeing as, you know, I'm, I'm with my father and he's there in bed in, in terrible, terrible pain on a lot of days. I felt pretty comfortable in that position and I felt uh, tremendously useful. He had great doctors, great surgeons, great physical therapists, um, the nursing techs were all great, but it was the nurses themselves who really, really impressed me. They were the ones who first started suggesting to me, um, you're good at this, you like this, why on earth not get paid to do this? And it was over the course of that summer that I went from uh, flirting with the idea in June to being pretty well married to it in August. Meanwhile, um, I enrolled at a community college, um, got my CNA, started working at a fabulous cancer treatment hospital in Northern Illinois Cancer Treatment Centers of America. Started taking my prereqs for nursing school. So I was absolutely immersed every single day um, in some aspect of patient care. It was my anatomy and physiology professor who first suggested Hopkins to me, which I believe I laughed at, thinking, sure, I'll go cross-continental um, to the number one nursing program in the country. Yeah, that'll happen. West Coast schools that I was looking at seemed to base their evaluation of prospective students on little more than grades, whereas he knew that Hopkins uh, had a reputation and a tradition of really looking at the full picture of a student, also seeming to have some ability to really suss out passion. I had actually moved houses, I believe, when my acceptance letter was being sent, and it went to my previous address. So I first found out um, late at night, just checking my email, uh, and the first indication that I got was actually um, from Hopkins Financial Aid. And I was very confused at first, of course, because I hadn't received an acceptance letter. I hadn't received anything to that point. Um, but I read the letter and I saw that there was a number attached to my name, and that's what convinced me that it was actually real. But I, I don't believe that I ever ended up sleeping that night. So it was shortly after I was accepted that I found out that I had received the Louise G. Cooley Scholarship, which meant so much. It was one of the things that made me realize that yes, this is absolutely doable, and yes, I can go to my first choice, and yes, I am going, in fact, to be a part of maybe the best nursing school that has ever been. I absolutely want to be a nurse practitioner. In what capacity, I'm not yet entirely sure but I suspect that I'll be looking at becoming a family nurse practitioner, um, at least to begin with. That's, again, one of the really exciting things about nursing is that there is a niche for everyone. 